Today kick-started Anti-Bullying Awareness Week. The brainchild of Mark Feely, the Westlife star, stepped out this morning to highlight the negative impact bullying has on children. Karen was there to find out more. Darling, you're with me, always around me. Only love me, only love me. Having been bullied as a teenager, Westlife's Mark Feely is heading up the inaugural Anti-Bullying Week in conjunction with the ISPCC. And as with previous campaigns, celebrities from across the board were keen to lend a hand. I think celebrities in general are always very willing to, to be involved in charities because it feels really good to give something back. In the pop world especially, you know, it's all fun and games and it's all sometimes can be fickle and sometimes can be, you know, elements of it can be shallow. So I think it always feels good for people you know, in the, it, like the performers or the people in bands to do something that actually means something. Mark is also busy rehearsing for Westlife's farewell tour. It's going great so far, like we're literally about four or five days into it. Um, you know, as everyone knows, Westlife, we don't kind of literally dance for every single song, but um, you'd be surprised every last step we take on the stage is planned. So, because if you walk in the wrong place, you might get, you know, blown up by a pyrotechnic. <laughs> or I just can't wait to get back and get on stage. It's been a while since we've performed live, so look forward to getting the mic back in my hand, yeah. you know. Um, have you been watching what One Direction been getting up to this crazy assault in the States and yeah, Australia? Yeah. What do you make of their popularity, how they've exploded? I think it's fantastic. You know, I, it, it excites me because when I, see, when I see them, you know, going through what they're going through, it, like it just, just reminds me again of, um, I remember when Ronan Keaton used to say that about when he looked at us, it reminded him of what he, they went through at the start. And it's true, like, I, people might, people would think, like, they'd mistakenly think that we might be jealous or something like that, but actually... It excites me. I'm delighted for them. Like It reminds me of the crack that we used to have. And I'd say they're having the best time of their lives, you know. It's been a turbulent year for Mark, as in January, he announced he had split from his partner of seven years, Kevin McDade, who he was due to marry next year. How are you getting on? Well, you know, well, first of all, I'm kind of, you know, quite private and, and obviously um, don't really sp speak about stuff like that that much. But, you know, I mean... Put it this way, it's like I don't think anybody going through any breakup enjoys it. You know, it's obviously something that you just have to deal with. It's a challenge that you deal with as it comes or whatever. But um, I'm, you know, I'm good. I'm really looking forward to the tour. Um, I'm really looking forward to getting busy with Westlife, and you know, that's kind of that's really. The, the that's where you're at. Yeah, that's where I'm at. If you'd like to wear a shield and support the Anti-Bullying Week, you can check out ispcc.ie for more information.